Calvin and Laura was still planning their wedding on episode 19, y'all. Look, I keep calling this girl Miranda. I'm so used to them being together. I actually watched the older episode clip the other day of Miranda and Calvin, and I was like, mm, you know, we've been rooting for them to get back. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody, but some of us been rooting for them to get back together, and I was like, well, hopefully they don't be like how they used to be. Maybe they learned their lesson or something. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This with Tyler Perry's House of Pain, season 12, episode 19. Okay, so they was planning the wedding on this episode. Y'all know episode 18, they was also planning their wedding, which means we're getting closer and closer to the wedding day. I said, you know what? A good storyline, a good um, cliffhanger, or a good way to end this season will be if Miranda showed up at Calvin and Laura wedding. Imagine that, y'all. It's their wedding. They holding hands. They looking at each other. They finna get ready to, you know, say their vows, or they already said their vows. Y'all know when they get to the part where it'd be like, if anybody has a reason why these two should not get married, and Miranda comes and says she's pregnant, boom, end the episode like that, y'all. Just like that. And the reason I said that is because they act like we don't forget that these folks both been stuck together. And it's been so, look, that, was, that happened in episode, in season, was it season 11 or at the end of season 10? I don't forget, it's been so long. But look, I was like, that'd be a good cliffhanger. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. But I wonder how they gonna end it. Because, you know, the last, last cliffhanger wasn't it when, uh, I want to say when Curtis got, got, uh, hurt. But I don't know. I really don't know at this point. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. But yeah, look, I said that would be a good cliffhanger. Because no, when y'all gonna address that? I've been waiting. We've been waiting. But look, okay, so on this episode, like I said, Calvin and Laura are still planning their wedding and everything, which means they're getting closer and closer to a wedding date. So it's a, it might actually go down. I don't know. I feel like somebody gonna stop it. Calvin gonna stop it and be like be like he's still in love with Miranda. Uh, Laura might stop it and say that Calvin's still in love with Miranda. Or Miranda might stop it. Or they might actually get married. We don't know. We don't know. But, yeah, Curtis ended up wanting to cater Calvin and Laura's wedding. But, you know, at first they was like, they already paid the deposit and everything for a caterer. Curtis was trying to convince him, them to change their mind about and let him cater and everything. But then when they told that, he got offended. He got offended, but Ella told him that he should apologize because it's their wedding, it's their choice and everything. Look, more people got that. That is folks' choice. Y'all be mad about people's choices. You got a choice and you don't want nobody being mad about your choice, do you? But, yeah, um, they ended up telling him at the end of the episode that he could, he could do the, what's it called, the rehearsal dinner or something like that the rehearsal i think it's a rehearsal dinner or something they told him um ella ended up getting offended too <laughs> by the end of the episode because she was talking about i was thinking i could do the wedding cake <laughs> and look uh, it might not be a wedding first of all it might not be no wedding i don't know i don't know how they're gonna play this y'all i don't know if it's gonna be a bigger storyline i don't know if they're gonna actually a lot of these two ain't no way she should be marrying this man he done display well really both of them both of them like i said in the last review I feel like they keep running into reasons why they should not get married, but they still over here playing the wedding. Regardless, they ain't spoke on these kisses. Uh, what's the name? Cabin on head with all these random people. No, I ain't, I'm putting them up there. Tell my son. <laughs> I'm talking about all these random people. He kissed one random lady and he kissed Miranda. <laughs> well, they hadn't spoke on the the night or I ain't gonna say the night that Calvin and Miranda shared, but whatever they had going on, they ain't spoke on that. It's like okay, I guess we're supposed to forget it. But uh, also on the episode, what happened? Um, on the other side of the thing, I think Hayden and Jaden had to do a Black History Report at first. Um, Hayden. She said she had it, but then she started getting nervous, too. But they ended up working with them and everything. And I said, look, Hayden is Jaden what Jasmine was to Malik at that age. Remember, y'all? Do y'all remember that? How Jasmine used to taunt Malik and everything, and now the roles have reversed. Well, I ain't say the roles have reversed, but they don't pass on to their younger siblings. But, yeah, we starting to see them a little bit. We starting to see them a little bit. Maybe we get to see them more. I don't know. But I definitely like, I definitely like, um, how these episodes have been compared to the the uh, other episodes. Yeah, but like I said, y'all know what I'm about to say. It'll never be how it was, but it's definitely way better. Definitely. But out of all three episodes, which one would you say is the best? What's the best, y'all? Comment down below. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, deuces.